Hey, how's it going? I'm Kevin Dorwell, King Kevin, that is, and we're going to talk about the roles of the queen, the woman. Now, in ancient history, the roles of a man and a woman, the king and the queen, were clear and concise. Everyone knew their role. That's why in Africa, not just in Kemet, which is Egypt, or Kush, which is Ethiopia, but all throughout Africa. That's what made Africans so strong because of that unity. The role of a woman was to nurture, was to encourage, inspire her king, her man. It was believed that through her spiritual powers that she made him believe that he can do whatever he put his mind to. No wonder there was those great pyramids throughout Alcaban, which was now Africa, but also up and down the Nile River in the United States of America. Those pyramids was because the woman encouraged her man. These, some of these pyramids, we still can't figure out how they built them. They were so great and so massive. So you could just think about that support system that was there and how society was so strong and powerful as kings and queens. The respect for a woman was so high that for a man or even a child to disrespect his mother or any woman, some of the penalties were death. That's how seriously or that's how important women were to society. We all heard that, that term, Mother Nature. Where does that come from? Now you think about it, women were the first nurturers. They were the first farmers, first to study agriculture. You know, they planted seeds, they were pulling plants out the ground. So they developed a relationship with the earth, that spiritual connection. Men were afraid to oppose a woman because they believed that the forces of nature were allied with the woman. Women, you are the ones that carry us in your stomach for 40 weeks. Nurture us in your stomachs. The mother is the first person that a child, girl or boy, she's the one that encourages him or her as a child growing up. That is why that bond between a mother and a child is so strong because they are the first ones. You are the first ones. Somewhere along the line, I'm not sure which decade or which century, the respect for a woman diminished. The respect, the dignity, the self-pride of a woman I don't know when, I don't know where, but we got to get back to that because until we raise our women, our mothers, our sisters up on that pedestal, our queens, until that respect is back, is back in power, the men will never be the kings that we should be because we need you, my sisters, to get back to that position of power that you once were. The story of resurrection first took place with Asar and Aset. Aset resurrected Asar from the dead. And the reason why I'm mentioning this is because this was the first time the story of resurrection ever appeared in history. Before the resurrection of Jesus. We are going to need our women to stand up again and to resurrect our men, our kings, out of prison, out of walking the streets like zombies. You have to wake them up from the dead. If you look at the pictures, the hieroglyphics of Asar, Aset, and, and some of the other pharaohs, and you see the women, they all, most of them had wings on them, especially Aset, because it was believed that the wings were to Love was to spread power, was to spread encouragement, inspiration to her king and to her children. 
The wings are wings of protection. It makes plenty of sense. You just have to research it and look it up. Now I'm going to have my show come January 1st, 2014. The title is Seven Types of Queens That Kings Desire. We are going to break it down. So tune in at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Go to my website to find out more about the King Kevin Show. Or you can catch me on Ustream.tv. Or just Google me, King Kevin, um, Dorval, and you'll find all the information you need. My queens, we need you, and we need you back ASAP.